Okay, please remain standing for the presentation of the colors. Okay, you may be seated.
for the class of 2022. High school has been an unforgettable journey that has helped prepare us for our futures, whatever they may hold. The past four years, the past four years have involved the most historical, memorable, and influential moments of our lives. Individually, our experiences at Stockbridge High School are unique, but together we share a common bond as members of the 2022 graduates of Stockbridge High School. We are filled with fear, excitement, and anticipation as the next stage of our lives begin. Without the support of our parents and guardians and our teachers, we may not have made it to this day. Since the beginning, they have been there for us, guiding us, helping us, watching us persevere, struggle, and grow. They have witnessed us mature into responsible young adults. Today, as we celebrate the, the graduation of students who have succeeded in committing to the hard work, sacrifice, and long hours needed to complete high school, thank you for joining us as we pay tribute to today's stars, the Stockbridge High School graduating class of 2022. Warm welcome to everyone. Let's all savor this awaited moment. the past few years, but I'd rather give thanks to every graduate I stand before today. Thank you for not giving up, for helping one another in their time of need, and for not letting any obstacle we may have faced stop you from getting here today. Thank you for staying in on those hard days or getting up, for, <laughs> for keeping your grade up or catching up when you needed to. We all know high school was not what we expected, but we made the best of it. As you walk this stage today, feel nothing but happiness and pride for yourself. Go into your new stage of life with no regrets. Go, get your new, go to your dream college or your dream vacation or both. Go get that new car, that new pet, that new book, or whatever makes you happy. In the words of Don Miguel Ruiz, you will find that you do not need to trust others as much as you trust yourself to make the right choices. Live the life you feel is right for you. Congratulations, class of 2022. I'm truly blessed to be part of such a strong and promising group. I wish us all the best in our future endeavors. Thank y'all. everyone <laughs> we are pleased and honored to have us with us have with us tonight representatives from the Henry County Board of Education vice chair Annette Edwards is a retired educator serving the constituents of District 5 on the Henry County Board of Education her experience of over 30 years in the classroom provides her with a unique perspective to serve the students and families in the northern section of the county Originally from Hollywood, Florida, Edwards earned a degree from Florida Memorial College, a master's from Nova University, and a specialist degree from Clark Atlanta University. She saw the opportunity to run for a post on the school board as a way to broaden her reach to serve students and family in her district. She wants to be an advocate for students to make sure they are afforded the education and success they deserve. She's a proud, she is proud of the many accomplishments that have been realized during her time on the broad through service to the community. This includes the construction of a new performing arts center in the northern part of the county, the expansion of the Academy of, for Advanced Studies, and the increase of student achievement. She is also most proud of serving beside the other board members. Excuse me. 
District 4 BOE member Sophie Pope is a native of Henry County and a 2005 graduate of the Union Grove High School. After obtaining her post-secondary degrees, Pope returned to her high school alma mater to teach Spanish. Upon the arrival of her first daughter, Pope made a switch to be a full-time mom. She also used this time to volunteer and lead the children's ministry at McDonough Pistabian Church. <laughs> Ms. Pope is familiar with the public education and desire to support, to support children in the community were key factors in her decision to run for a spot on the school board. A blend of passion and experience is what she uses to serve her city. And she brings a unique perspective to the board as being a former teacher, graduate, and now a parent of the SC, SCS student. She is a, a proud, she's proud of the employees in the system and their outstanding work toward helping students achieve at the highest level. Melissa Moore. <laughs> It gives me great pleasure in introducing our salutatorian for the 2021-22 school year. According to the dictionary and Wikipedia, the salutatorian is an academic title given to the highest, the second highest ranked graduate of the entire graduating class. So I became intrigued, and I wanted to know, how does one with this accolade transcript look like? Needless to say, I pulled her transcript and was amazed. She has final grades at and above 120 courses. Her weighted numeric GPA is exactly 100.00 and her weighted GPA is 4.43. Then I pondered at her success in her course of study. She has taken advantage of the programs that Henry County offers. For instance, she has taken honors and advanced placement courses. She's been a part of the Academy of Advanced Studies, Impact Academy, and for the last two years, a dual enrolled student at Gordon College. In addition, her SAT and ACT scores are through the roof. Aside from the outstanding student before us, this young lady is truly remarkable and amazing in her own right. Her family is simply beautiful in every way. Not, to me, not mean or harsh, but loving and kind. Her brother Silas graduated in 2020 and was a joy to work with and he flourished in the JROTC. Her parents, Carla and Travis Scott, are a counselor's dream, parents that have been involved from the start. I have enjoyed working with the entire family. Ladies and gentlemen, it's important to stay involved as our kids journey through school, for high school is when they need us the most. Our 2021-22 a salutatorian has earned over one million dollars in scholarship offers. The University of Georgia accepted her in their early decision process. UGA was her first choice. She got into her dream school. 
So in the fall, she will transform from a tiger to a Georgia Bulldog and will major in marketing with a minor in fashion merchandise. So please join me in a round of applause for our 2021-2022 salutatorian, Miss Savannah Lauren Scott. Good evening, parents, family and friends, administrators, teachers, and my fellow class of 2022 classmates. First, I would like to give praise to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for his, con <laughs> for his continuous blessings over me. Next, I would like to acknowledge my parents and immediate family for their unwavering support and guidance throughout my life. To my mom, thank you for your unconditional love and support as it has helped me to become the young woman that I am today. To my dad, thank you for your continuous words of wisdom, which enables me to better understand the realities of the world. To my older brother, Silas, thank you for always having my best interests, as there is never a dull moment when we are together. Last but not least, I would like to honor all of the graduates here today for achieving the monumental milestone of becoming a high school graduate. Today is a reflection of all of the dedication and hard work taken to make this day a reality for the senior class of 2022. It is hard to believe that the day has finally arrived. It seems like just yesterday that we were entering freshman year and learning how to navigate through high school. Today, we are graduating and taking the next steps in the next chapter of our lives, whether it be college, the workforce, or the military. Make no mistake, the road to graduation has not been easy. We witnessed the psychological and physical effects of a global pandemic, as well as other social issues that have plagued our society for centuries. But in the end, we prevailed, and in doing so, we learned some critical things about ourselves. First, we learned how to adapt to circumstances that were well beyond our control. Second, we learned how to overcome the many challenges faced because of those circumstances. Third, we learned that the ability to endure and persevere builds character and mental fortitude, traits that are sorely needed for the world in which we are about to enter. We must look at every obstacle as an opportunity. We must seek to make the most of every opportunity. We must remember that the same dedication and determination we use to get the most from high school also applies as we seek to get the most from what awaits us in the real world. Always remember that the sky is not the limit when you have the opportunity to reach for the stars. As you continue to soar above the clouds, always remain humble and never forget those family members and friends whose love and support laid the foundation for you to be here today with the hopes of building a brighter future. They are the real stars in my book. Likewise, never forget the faculty and staff at Stockbridge High School who contributed so much to your development. There's a classic quote which says, if you feed a man a fish, he will eat for a day. But if you teach a man how to fish, he will eat for a lifetime. The faculty and staff at Stockbridge High School have provided the class of 2022 with the necessary educational skills to succeed, not just for one day, but for a lifetime. It is ultimately up to us to apply those essential skills on a daily basis to ensure our pathway to success is clear as we travel over the hills and deep in the valleys along the roadways of life. In closing, I would like to leave the class of 2022 with a few quotes of wisdom to live by. These quotes will be just as applicable in the years to come as they are today. One, if you have no critics, you'll likely have no success. Two. You have to give respect in order to get respect. Three, diligence is the road less taken, but most satisfying. Three, four, I'm sorry. A man or woman who stands for nothing will fall for anything. And my dad's personal favorite, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Than to need it and not have it. I know that you all will be amazing, phenomenal, and world-changing as you enter your next journey of life. Congratulations, Stockbridge High School Class of 2022.
right, good evening, Tiger Nation, and good evening, cadets. I feel, I feel uh, honored and privileged to be here representing all the educators of Stockbridge High School. Our next honoree is acknowledged for having the highest grade point average at Stockbridge High School over the past four years consecutively. Self-describing herself as hardworking, diligent, goal-driven, and empathetic, our valedictorian acknowledges that she will not only be the first in her family to graduate with top honors, she will be the first in her family to graduate from high school. Her Hispanic heritage is interwoven into the fabric of who she is. Distinct, expressive, focused, and progressive. She is no stranger to overcoming challenges, as evidenced by her greatest hurdle as a child, mastering of English as a second language. She has done so with precision and fluency, as you will hear today or this evening. Our recipient was a devout ROTC cadet during her first two years of high school. She was selected as the administrative assistant and clearly was one of our top four cadets in the class of 2022. Her academic prowess has been one of the best we have encountered. Not only has she successfully soared through 22 advanced level courses comprised of honors, AP, dual enrollment identifiers, our honoree is well versed in the trilingual graduate having mastered Spanish, English, and the German languages. With plans of studying psychology in college, this honoree envisions herself one day entering medical school and specializing in psychiatry. With an overall GPA of 4.44, this year's honoree has earned, yes, go ahead, has earned over $100,000 in scholarship money from one of the top colleges in the nation. She has been a well-rounded scholar, a JROTC cadet, and citizen of Stockbridge High School and the community. And it gives me no great pleasure than to present her as the school's highest academic honoree this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me with a round of applause in congratulating this year's valedictorian, Ulyssa Ariana Alvarez Matoyan. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us today to celebrate this extraordinary accomplishment, because, because that's what this is. Despite the differences in our journeys and targets, all of us were able to achieve this long-awaited aspiration. Thank you to all the faculty and staff that have made this event possible, to our families and friends who have supported us through every step of the way, and to the teachers and mentors who have worked tirelessly to prepare us for this moment. After 12 long years, this chapter of our lives is finally over. So congratulations, class of 2022. Our stress, diligence, and those endless nights of catching up on work have ultimately reaped their fruits. We have walked a very eventful road together. When we first started high school, we were children attempting to navigate a seemingly huge and daunting new environment. In our sophomore year, we were faced with the adversity and changes that COVID-19 brought us. Yet as always, we remained persevering and we were able to overcome those unforeseen challenges. As juniors, we began to experience the stresses and realities of the start of, oh, sorry, the stresses and realities outside of our school. As seniors, we finally reached the first apex of our lives and now stand on the precipice of a new beginning, the start of the rest of our lives. Now, we are leaving Stockbridge High as adults with newfound confidence, maturity, and goals. As we continue to grow and follow our dreams, I would like to remind everyone to stay true to themselves. 
Our hopes and drives are what make each of us unique and accepting ourselves as we are brings us confidence and happiness. Without being our authentic selves, our lives become surrounded by regrets, exhaustion, and negativity. Live your life however you want to and make sure that it is at your own pace. If you constantly worry about the opinions or expectations of others, you will struggle to find your true purpose or calling. Many of us are still attempting to find our motivation or drive and discover what path we want to take after high school, but that's okay. We still have plenty of time to flourish into the best versions of ourselves. Eventually, follow that which you have passion for and don't let others sway you from your morals. Learn how to treat others with honesty, respect, and kindness. Not only will these morals guide you, but they will also create the change that is needed in our society. Today, our world is full of hate, wars, and violence, not only against each other, but also against our environment. Minorities, refugees, women, and so-called others face persecution and dehumanization each day. It is up to us to cultivate love and acceptance for each other. On that note, I would like to honor a few people who overcame the hate and stereotypes that they encountered. So all the single parents who worked multiple jobs to push their families towards a better future. To those families who learned to change their mindsets in order to become more welcoming and loving for their children. Personally, I would like to thank my immigrant parents who came to this country with nothing in order to give me the opportunities that they never had. Gracias a mis padres por sacrificar todo para asegurarles un futuro lleno de prosperidad a sus hijos. Sus sacrificios no son en vano y aunque no se los diga suficiente, yo los quiero mucho y aprecio todos sus esfuerzos. Muchos de nuestros padres pasan horas largas trabajando y luchando para seguir adelante y guiar a sus hijos. Yo sé que hoy represento a muchos de mis compañeros cuando digo que el ejemplo que nuestros padres nos han dado significa todo para nosotros. Once again, I would like to congratulate the class of 2022. Our, sto Our stories are just beginning and I look forward to seeing what path each one of us decide to take. Now, more than ever, it is important for us to accept that we are responsible for our own destinies. But instead of letting it overwhelm us, let's look forward to seeing what life has in store for us. Class of 2022, continue to remain perseverant, diligent, resilient, and unique. Thank you everyone for your time, and in the words of Conan O'Brien, work hard, be kind, and amazing things will happen. This evening, I am proud to present to you two graduates who have uh, illustrated an immense level of resilience and positive attitude in the face of challenges during high school. Both of these students had opportunities to give up and give in, but they refused to do so. Instead, they have impacted our school environment by attitude and or inspirational character. Our first recipient of the Principal's Award is a young woman who has shown diligence, grit, and mental fortitude over the past four years. Despite personal challenges and frustrations, this scholar has held her head high and pushed through as a collaborator with her teachers, administrators, and her counselor. The first recipient of the 2021-2022 Principal's Awards is Kanik Blue. get her award as she comes up. Where is she? Okay. Come on up. Come on up. We'll take our time. Very important. Our second recipient entered high school as a timid underclassman, curious about the world but unsure about the future. As he has grown and matured, he has become a glimmer of hope 
and constant source of inspiration for Stockbridge High School community. We have been on the receiving end of his unwavering positivity, his infectious laughter, and impactful organization. Stockbridge High School would not be the same without him. The second recipient of the 2021-2022 Principals Award goes to none other than Ethan Causey. This evening, we want to acknowledge the choices our graduates have made towards their next steps following graduation. With those graduates moving on to the branches of the military, please stand. Wow. Congratulations. With those graduates moving on to the workforce, please stand. With those graduates moving on to technical school, please stand. With those graduates moving on to four-year colleges or universities, please stand. Congratulations, graduates, on your strength of character and decisiveness. Good luck in your future endeavors. We want to also acknowledge the scholarship success of our graduates accepted to college or universities. To date, the class of 2022 has earned over $6 million in scholarship money. Congratulations to all of you. Also tonight, I am also very pleased to present to you our Latin Honor graduates. Over the last 12 years of school, they have worked diligently to maintain a high standard of academic excellence. These students, designated by the bronze, silver, and gold stoles they wear, represent the top of our graduating class, and each of them will graduate with a cumulative academic GPA of 3.6 or higher. Latin Honor graduates, please stand. In addition, we have four students who have earned an associate's degree while completing their requirements for graduating. Anaya Head, Christy Murray, and Naya Payne. What an awesome accomplishment that the 2000, class of 2022 has made. I am very proud of you. Please give a round of applause for these scholars. Okay, it is now my pleasure to bring up to the stage one of our outstanding seniors, Brianna Watson. Hello, students, parents, that family members, and members of the school board tonight. First and foremost, I would like to thank God for guiding me here, as none of this would be possible without him. I know the night has been very long already, but I'd like to leave you all with a few good words of encouragement. It feels like just the other day, I was at Fairview Elementary School eating green eggs and ham for Dr. Seuss Week. Now I'm standing here before you all reciting the student address for our high school graduation. I can, remind, I can recall reminding my mother that I will be advancing to the next grade, proudly announcing, Mommy, I'm going to first grade. Mommy, I'm going to sixth grade. Mommy, I'm going to be a freshman. And now it's Mommy, I'm going to University of West Georgia. 
I could go on and on about the past and making it this far, but I want to discuss the impact we will make after the ceremony. We've been through trials and tribulations to get here. COVID has taught us that we, are, we can do anything we put our minds to. No matter what we do, where we go, challenges will arise. Now it's time to meet those challenges, straight on with our heads held high and our hearts wide open. Our mindset should not be to simply get by in life, but to excel in everything we do. It's never too late to realize that what you want in your life, and it's never wrong to fight for it. Our minds will change many times before our fate is established, but that's only a part of the journey to the final chapter. Before me stands future aerospace engineers, food scientists, teachers, doctors, entrepreneurs, lieutenants, and so much more. We are the future. One day you will look back at this very moment and tell your children and grandchildren to cherish their high school years as they are years you will never forget. I know I'll never forget my random breakdowns at Ms. Ross's office, yet she kept encouraging me to keep going. I'm grateful for Ms. Lewis, my school mom, who has been supporting me since freshman year. And lastly, Benny, aka Ms. Benford, the English teacher turned media specialist who was teaching Macbeth, Macbeth with all her heart from front porch during COVID. As the new librarian, she inducted me and my friends, Taylor and Aaliyah, with welcome arms as the first media and literary service committee. I can go on and on, but the looks I can tell in the crowd <laughs> that y'all saying, wrap it up, Brie. And I would like to leave you all with a quote from my favorite artist, Drizzy Drake. When writing, this, writing the story of your life, don't let anyone else hold the pen. Congrats, class of 2022. Jordan Kameen Adams. Faith 
Anderson. Jalen, Marquise, Lawrence. Nikaya, Bernice, Atley. Shiloh, Makai, Lawrence. Jose Angel Avila Sanchez. <laughs> Tini Tin Ben Lee. Desu Aviles Soto. Nigel Tariq Clinton Lee. Kaylin Nicole Bain. <laughs> Treasure Lorraine Lewis. <laughs> Tamia Jade Banks. <laughs> Lance Shamar Little. Joseph Barajas. Jamia Marie Lockett. Braylon Marquez Barnes. Fabian Lopez Santiago. Ali Baron Bonilla. Kenya Yvonne Lott. Yaye Ai Berry. Caleb Christopher Mack. Dwayne LeBaron Bates, Jr. Anaya Sky Medic. Brizia Mariah Bautista Trejo. Layla Elaine Mahone. Summer Alexandria Belt. Brandon Maldonado Flores. Shamaria Bernice Billington. Koye Jameer Marchman. Kanik Javay Blue. Juanaya Janelle Martin Patrick. Bryce Latrell Bonner. Kennedy Alexandria McBride. Taylor Samaria Boyce. Talia Nakaya McDaniel. Kira Lene Brennan. Skyla Justin McKenzie Jr. Kyra Marie Brantley. Nehemiah Henderson McWhite. 
Carlton Lamont Brown Jr. Tagari A.G. McGett. Faith Emile Brown. Joanna Gabriella Miha. Jarkesia Chandrada Brown. Carla Joanna Miha. Raquel Monet Brown. Daniela Sitali Melendez Velasquez. Kaden McKinley Bryan. Ramses Assad Michelle. Michaela Talise Bryant. Marcus Dion Mills the second. Jalen Simone Birchfield. Nashe Michelle Mills. Philip Clay Burke Jr. Jeanette Miranda. Kali Deshaun Bernie. Yamile Miranda Laura. Isley Amaya Bynum. Brian Miranda Martinez. Naja Akina Cameron. Guadalupe Miranda Ordunya. Sergio Ignacio Canseco Garcia. Nazia Shani Mitchell. Brianna Janaya Carney. Jamarian Antonio Moore. Miles Clifton Carter. Denias Melvin Morrow. Darinka Rosette Castro Perez. Bryson Navion Murray. Ethan Arnold Causey. Christy Teresa Murray. Devin Terrell Chandler. Ramon 
Deshaun Chavis.
Rachel Renee Cunningham. Julieta Humina Perez Gonzalez. Joshua Nicholas Kaysen Cotino. Justin Ian Pettis. Felicia Daniel. Jasmine Maria Panito. Coy Samuel Daniels Jr. Yareli Ponce Sanchez. Chase Eden Davis. Chandler Elon Davis. Dana Lamonte Powell. Jemai Malik Davis. Ajane Amanda Powell. Jordan Nicole Davis. <laughs> Sophia Alejandra Quinte de la Cruz. Michelle Davis. Olu Wafumilola Raji. Tiana Nicole Davis. Tavius James Ready Asia Michelle De La Rosa Brandon Lee Reese Dana De Leon Bianca Anelia Rojas. Javier Delgado Cordoso. Che Amir Richardson. Martina Eliana DeLeeser. Eddie Richardson Jr. Ma Bashir Diabate.
Rebecca May Rose. Masade Bashir Diabate. Naisha Michelle Rohila Santos. Trenton Miles Diller. Rosia Evelyn Rojas. Matthew Scott Joshua Dixon. Trisha Daini Rojas. Sanaya Christina Dixon. Nidia Marie Romero. Brandon Stephen Dixon. Zaria Armani Roundy. Tangela May Dumas. <laughs> Mia Alexandria Royal. <laughs> JL Sydney Dunn. Marcus, Zaquan, Rosa. Jacqueline Espinoza Martinez. Leslie Eileen Salazar. Gabriela Estrada Molina. Liliana Sanchez. Anthony Quentin Evans Jr. Evan Reyes Viegas. Hannah Simone Evans. Samantha Guadalupe Sanchez. Michaela Ariana Fallings. Malena Cheyenne Sanders. Adara Daikira Farid. Skylar Shamar Darrell Sanders Ricardus Demonte Farley Jr. Ariella Monica Elisha Sanders Corey Jaden Felder Nadia Marie Scott Zynesia Precious Fix Savannah Lauren Scott Corey John Fortune Debbie.
Kevin Singh. LaCoria Brianna Fox. Calvin Jaden Sharp. Luis Fernando Fuentes. Akari Shaw. Jesse Garcia. Jaden Chase Shaw. Jordan Nasir Gitz. Mariah Renee Shepard. Cedric Jonathan Gladden Jr. Salia Nyla Slocum. Diego Saeed Gonzalez. Terrell Tyson Small. Giovanni Alexander Goodson. Devin Antonio Smith. Victor Ace Gooch. Nicholas John Stanley. Vincent Rourke Gooch. Khalil Dean Stead. Jack Everett Green. John Paul Stevens III. Philip Isaac Guzman. Taylor Shy Stevens. Nicholas Stefan Hammock. Xavier Milan Story. Cameron Alicia LaFrance Harris. Marquise Dewan Styles. Major. Chantel Petit Harris. Luke Anthony Sutton. Jared Bernard Lamont Hoggerbrook. Jaden Deontay Swift. Elon Aliyah. Precious Angelica Swift. Anya Simone Head. Akila Merche Sykes. Kelly Renee Helton. Anthony Lavelle. Sylvester. Mario Malik Height. Skyler Renee Tally. New Quinn T. Ho. Gushan Zeri Tani. Jonathan Blake Hooker. Jeffrey Maurice Tanks. Malachi Xavier Allen Howard. Isabella Marie Tana Madero. Delicia Janaya Howell. 
Skylar Tang. Ariana Sanaya Humphrey. Isaiah Tyree Thomas. Crystalline Cabria Janae Hunt. Ryan Jamal Thomas. Brandon Keith Hunter Jr. Zakia Latrevon Thompson Tompkins. Demarge Shamar Hines. Isabella Marie Thompson. Kijan, Corey, Ivory, Samuel, Ephraim, Thompson, Janisha, Ranella, Jackson, Terrence, Tyler, Thompson. Justin Bum Bum Tita Hanaya Janae Arlena Jackson Unique Rashad Tobe Marquisia Deshay Jackson Kishan Alyssa Tolson William Jackson Courtney Lauren Tooks Jaden Mion James Lisandro Torres Jason Alexander James William Michael Trammell Michaela Armani Jameson Kamaria Lachey Trailer Joseph Marquise Jeffries Justin Eric Turner Michaela Gwendolyn Jenkins John Trimen Boo Philip Lamar Jenkins Jr. Yara Ashanti Walker Alicia Kadian John Jordan Cassius Wall Wallace Omari Alicia Johnson Anthony Lee Waller Jr. Isaiah Shamar Johnson Christina Veronica Warren Nathaniel Adam Johnson Brianna Aisha Watson Julian Christopher Jones Jonathan Christopher Eric Watson Kenneth Antoine Jones Jr. Jaden Alexander Webb. Nathan Xavier Jones. Jaquela Marie Wells. Nicole Amara Jones. 
Jordan, Devon, West Bay. Najur, Youssef, Jones. Sia, Alexia, Devon, Whitaker. Zoe, Love, Jones. Tiffany, Sierra, White. Christopher, Martin, Olofimi, Jones, Askill. Amber, Sanaya, Witt. Jeremiah, Latravius, Jordan. Caitlin, Alana, Wilder. Nicolias, Jeremiah, Jordan. Ethan, Kyle, Wilkie. Esther, Edidion, Joseph. Kendall, Chase, Williams. Marcellus, Marcellus, Marquise, Jordan. Tavares, D'Angelo, Willis. Damon, Rashawn, Young. Jose, Daniel, Zalita de la Cruz. Guadalupe, Zavala, Gaspar. Rakia, Lachey, Ziegler. After many years of hard work and dedication, it is finally time to turn your tassels to signify going from a student to a graduate of Stockbridge High School. At this time, please turn your tassels from the right side of your cap to the left side. It is my great honor to present to you tonight the graduating class of 2022. Congratulations! Students, 